up everybody, Professor Wrestler Chris Wild back with another video on Eagles News Now. And today was the first day since before the Seattle playoff game that Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz spoke to the media. He answered some questions that definitely needed to be answered. And let's just jump right into it. And let's start with the first and most important question uh, that was asked was, what was his reaction to the Philadelphia Eagles selecting Jalen Hurts with the 53rd pick in the NFL draft in the second round. And Carson, let me, first off, for the most of this interview, um, Carson seemed very transparent to me. Um, a lot of the questions were kind of cookie cutter answers, um, but you can't expect him uh, to really go much deeper um, than he did, I believe. There was one question um, that he answered where I kind of think you saw um, more of him than the others. Uh, but that first question, why, how he felt about Hertz being picked, the way he answered it was he said um, that he was excited to have Jalen Hurts in the quarterback room, that the quarterback position is a very important position, uh, and that he was excited about the dynamic that Jalen Hurts adds to that quarterback room. Um, he also said that he had he had watched some of Jalen Hurts that uh, and that he had, and this I kind of found interesting, he said that he talked to him briefly already. Um, so it seems like he's open uh, to having Jalen Hurts in the room. And if it really bothered him, he did not show it that much here or in this entire interview, um, to be honest with you. Uh, another question that was asked that I found interesting was, um, does the Eagles picking Jalen Hurts in the second round concern Carson Wentz with how the front office might feel about his long-term future? And uh, Carson answered this very smartly by saying, it doesn't concern him at all because the Eagles signed him to a big deal last year and that if it did concern him, then he'd be questioning himself because when he signed that deal, he put his trust into that front office and that uh, drafting this quarterback did not um, uh, change his thoughts on that. Uh, he also said in the earlier question that um, he expected the Eagles to draft a quarterback at some point. Um, so this wasn't that big of a deal to him, as at least that's what he's saying, as a lot of the media is making it out to be. Um, they talked about uh, some of the rookies. They asked him if the Eagles had done enough to give him weapons. Um, and he said that he was really excited about Jalen Rager, about his speed, that he was pumped to work with him. And then, uh, surprisingly to me, he put over Marquise Goodwin by saying that he watched Marquise for years on film and was really excited um, to play with him. So it, it seemed, and this was genuine, when you go back and you listen to this interview that Carson had, you could tell uh, there was some genuine excitement in his voice when speaking about this offense. He said that, that those two names jump off the board and that the other that he's really excited about the other guys and the speed and the creativity um, that they could bring to this offense, which brought the question of Rick uh, Scangarella, who is uh, was a quarterbacks coach for Kyle Shanahan. Um, word is that he's got a brilliant offensive mind, and Carson said that he's looking forward to working with him. That he only talked to him very briefly. Um, that he hasn't been in as many meetings as the other guys have been because of the birth of his daughter. Um, he since he's only been able to talk to Rick once, but I think that. Um, you know, a lot of people, when we talk about these picks and we talk about, uh, different things that the Eagles are doing, a lot of people don't talk about this new staff, um, that has been brought here and around Doug. And I think that a guy like Rick Scangarella is going to be a big part of how this op, this offense operates and maybe some of the different things that they might do with a Jalen Hurts, um, or some of these speedsters that they have in there. So the one question that was asked that really raised my brow when you kind of got like the uh, not so cookie cutter answer from Carson was um, they asked him, they said that they had spoken to Lane Johnson, that Lane Johnson said that Carson is such a competitor that this draft pick of Jalen Hurts is going to um, make Carson more motivated than ever. Uh, so at this point, Carson says, uh, that's, that's a good... A good question. You could tell he kind of um, did. He kind of didn't know how to answer it at first, and they also asked him, "Does this put a chip on your shoulder?" Um, and he says that uh, he loves Lane Johnson, but he thinks Lane might be a little off here because the hit that he took 
at the end of that Seattle game, he said that that made him more hungry than ever before or more hungry to get to work. And that because of the way the season ended, he's already motivated. So nothing was going to uh, to change that or to change him, the type of person and player he is. All in all, guys, a really good down-to-earth interview with Carson Wentz. I think he interviewed everything truthfully. Now, honestly, um, the drafting of Jalen Hurts probably uh, bothered him a little bit more than he's saying. But at the same time, um, it, it might just have been, uh, you know, when you see the other guys that were brought into him that might have lessened the blow I also think and again who am I to say that Carson was bullshitting in that last answer but I do think that this is going to make him um uh everyone thinks that he's going to be looking over his shoulder and it's Nick Foles again and I don't think so I think this is going to make him um we saw it last year with the critics and they said that he couldn't win in the fourth quarter and he couldn't uh you know, um, have winning drives, and he did all that, and he did it with practice squad players. Oh, there's no way the Eagles are going to make the playoffs with these guys. There's no way Carson Wentz can do it, and he did it. No matter what the competition was, he did it. Um, and I think now it's going to drive him even more. There's going to be no looking over his shoulder. I think he's going to put that pedal to the metal. That chip is going to be on his shoulder, and he's going to leave it there, and he's going to use it as motivation because that's what athletes do. That's what competitors do. And, of course, he wasn't going to say that because – Again, he wants to show that he has faith in his management um, and in his coaches. But I definitely believe that this is going to uh, light a fire under Carson's ass. And he's going to put the rest of the NFC on notice. Yeah, I said it. You heard it here. Um, I think this is going to be a huge year for Carson Wentz. But with that, guys, it's all for right now. Carson Wentz reacts. Um, Check out the interview. I don't want to get any copyright uh, strikes on this video, so... I'm not going to post it, but it is on PhiladelphiaEagles.com and on the Eagles YouTube channel as well. Check it out, guys. I'm Chris Wilde. That's Little Carson. Um, I'll see you guys later. Go, Birds. E